Today I'm scaling up Margaret Layton's jacket from 17th century women's dress patterns using the radial projection method. This method is briefly touched upon in Patterns for Theatrical Costumes by Catherine Holkbor. The radial method is similar to the grid method of scaling up patterns, but I find it just a little bit faster and a bit more flexible. Okay, to start with, you need your pattern and you need to find out what scale it is. Most books have it listed somewhere, in this case it's um, one, a 1 to 4 ratio, so every measurement you take from the scaled pattern you multiply by 4. Now I got some uh, computer paper, but tracing paper is probably better. We want to go and trace our pattern, because this is going to be our guide. We're going to mark several points on the tracing. These are going to be our landmarks to get the right shapes. You can see also I roughly marked about where the narrowest point on this jacket is. This is the waistline, and it's also what I'm going to use as the x-axis. Now we're going to want to measure the distance from the front waistline to those landmark dots. If you have a seam gauge, use it. It will make it a lot easier. I don't have one of those with me at the moment. So let's set the edge of the ruler at our starting point, and I'll darken that so you can see it. And now we measure from here to here, which is about uh, 2 and 3 eighths. Multiply that by 4, and that will give us the distance. You want to do this for all the points, and I've already done most of that, so I'm going to be going off the chart I made up ahead of time. Next, we're going to square up a line on our pattern paper, just horizontal and vertical line that meet. Make sure you leave enough space at the bottom of the paper for the lower edge of the jacket. Where those two lines meet is going to be our starting point. Now we take our pattern and line up the horizontal line with our waistline and tape it down. I'm going to label the points on our guide pattern so they're a bit easier to see. So that first measurement we took was 2 and 3 fourths times 4, which is 9 and a half. What we're going to do is line up our ruler with our starting point on the waistline and make sure it runs through point A. Then, starting from our waistline point, we're going up 9 and a half inches and making a mark on the pattern paper. Here's point A. For point B, we're going to pivot the ruler and line up the points to get the correct angle. Point B is 2 and 7 eighths times 4 is 11 and a half. So again, we're going to go from our starting point and up an 11 half inches and make a mark. Point C is 3 and 5 eighths times 4 is 14 and a half. You do the same for point D, E, F, G, and so on and so forth. Once the points are mapped, it's time to play connect the dots. Here's where a French curve can come in handy, but a paper plate or a cup can do in a pinch. So now we have a general view of the upper part of the pattern. It's not quite on camera, but I did not bother plotting out the bust curve. Since I'll be fitting this to myself eventually, an extra wide seam allowance will help decide that placement, as well as if I'm wearing stays or a kirtle under it. Now we're going to plot out the hip part of the pattern, and it's the exact same process. As you can see on the pattern tracing, one of the gore points is higher than the other, so you need to make sure to get that detail in. And once the new points are mapped, we connect the dots again. Um, since I used less points this time, I'm going to kind of eyeball the parts with the jacket curves and flares. Now I'm going to go ahead and mark where the gores will be. I'm not going to worry about the width of them since once they're slashed open, they'll separate to the width I need. Uh, remove the drawing and connect up any broken lines, uh, like this one at the center front. Now we have a rough but reasonable scale of pattern of Margaret's jacket. The same process can be used for the back and the sleeves, and in making this up, I'm just going to add large seam allowances so I have room for adjustment, because overall I'm kind of close to her size. But if I was scaling this up for someone else, I would probably slash and spread the pattern to their measurements. <laughs> 